Do y'all have Rice Krispie treats? We weren't yet. Could I have four Rice Krispies? All right, guys, so we're actually gonna do something cool. In my hand, we have a thousand and five million dollars. Just kidding, this is only a hundred dollars. We're going to give it to the person at the window and just kind of make their day. Cause you know, that's what we do here at Endless Ambition Podcast. We make people's days. Who's the lucky winner? Chicken dinner. That's that was weird. <laughs> this dude. Kind of nervous. First date kind of nervous. Here's a tip for you. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Here, I got one more. That's for you. That's you personally. Could you do us a favor? So we have a podcast. Could you say subscribe to Endless Ambition Podcast for the, the vlog one time? Could you say subscribe to Endless Ambition Podcast for the vlog one time? In Endless Ambition. Yeah. Here, let me see, let me see. Subscribe to Endless Ambition. Yeah, there you go. Uh, that's cool. Wait, here, here, I got you. Here, fix the email. Have a blessed day. <laughs> that was so awkward. Wasn't that awkward? Yeah, it was a little awkward. It could have went better. Yeah, it could have went 100% better, but the the biggest part is that we blessed somebody today. Did no we, matter who or did it was. put it in the tip jar? Because I don't want to bless Starbucks. They're a multi-million dollar company. <laughs> I mean, just give me the money back. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. In my head, it went totally... It, it went totally... It, it was like, going to go totally different in my yeah, head. Yeah. Like, You're going to see some tears. I wanted an emotional Shoot. story Shoot. about how someone's <laughs> dog just died yeah. or their dog yeah. is on the verge of dying yeah. and they need 100 more dollars to take them to the vet. What's up, guys? So before we get into the video, I just want to point out that we are going to be missing I think like 30 minutes of um, one angle of me and Hannah because one of our SD cards did get corrupt We did end up switching out the SD card. So we have the other time um, from both angles So just uh, bear with us for probably about 30 minutes 20 to 30 minutes and uh, yeah, let's get into the video Oh, we sponsored now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You can. <laughs> so, yeah, you okay. can just throw these on, and then this is your microphone right here. You want sparkling water or something? No, I got some Diet Coke. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so, what's up? No alcohol or what? No alcohol? Well, all these pancakes, I'm trying to get back in shape. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, uh, man, so we got Cousin T's here. Uh, are we live? Yeah, yeah, we're live. We're going. We're going. Oh no, you're you're good. You're good. You're good. We're not live. No, we're not live. I mean, it's recording, but yeah, it's recording. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Ooh. Um. You want to grab that? I'm gonna hold this in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just talk directly into it. This thing is bigger than this. I mean. Yeah, it's 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 a little big, but. Yeah. So so tell us about uh cousin T's right here that, this pancake mix you got. So Cousin T's uh, it came out last year. It's a really great mix. It's a gourmet mix. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they counsel on Jamama. I was so sad. I was so depressed. I said, oh, no. <laughs> we love, you know Aunt Jamama, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know Aunt Jamama, yeah. right? Absolutely. I mean, her pancake mix was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. and they, they took her face off, and they put, changed put the, the uh, name. The mic closer. Oh, okay, oh, okay. There you go. There you Do we go. need to start back over? No, no, you're good. You're yeah, good. Are we you're good. good? Yeah. You can hear yourself now? Yeah, this mic is heavy. I can barely hold it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you said they canceled. Uh, yeah, they Mama canceled on Jamama, which was so crazy. I was mm -hmm. like, why in the world would they cancel her? And, and what was the reason for that? Well, people said her face being on the box was racist, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, who like, who has time to even think about that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like what? Like like? Do you have a life? Yeah. yeah. Someone literally, uh, someone was literally, li literally laying down at night thinking about Aunt Jemima being on a box and, <laughs> and, and 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 was disappointed. Yeah. That sounds like, like privilege to me. It sounds like privilege. Like <laughs> yeah. like go to the movies, go skating. <laughs> yeah. You know, find a hobby. You know, you going after pancakes? What? I mean, what is going on? <laughs> Yeah. You, know, you mad know, at some pancakes? Yeah, do you have any enemies? Any real enemies? <laughs> Aunt your mama is your only enemy? <laughs> like, golly. Like, That's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, like, you know, do someone, like, come on, go after somebody that owe you money. Like, why are you going after Aunt your mama? She's done nothing. She, she didn't do anything to anybody. Well, and wasn't her family, like, sad about it? Yes, they ruined, they ruined her legacy. And, you know, and listen, first they took her face off. I said, okay, that's messed up. 
Uh, but I said, at least they have her name still on there. Mm -hmm. Then they took the name off. Mm -hmm. And then they call it, what, Pearl Milling Company or yeah, something? something like that. That's ridiculous. You know, and I believe it is the same mix that they use with Unja Mama, but I refuse to I refuse to buy it. Oh, same. I bought it because of her face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I bought it because of her face. Then they went out to uh, Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben? Uncle Ben? That's the yeah. rice, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, Uncle Ben's rice. His white rice, his wild rice, I mean... Brown, some of the best rice out there. And then, then they took his face away. Mm -hmm. Now, they kept his name on there, but they took his face mm -hmm. away. But still, though, you know, when we saw those faces, we were like, we want, we want that. Yeah. Because of those beautiful black faces smiling at us in the grocery store. You walking down the aisle, Aunt your mama is just... <laughs> and I'm smiling back, like, what, smiling at me, you know? You know, hey, auntie, you know? I feel like my aunt was really smiling at me. <laughs> yeah. You know? That's so, you so, know, no one, no, one, no one has ever looked at me the way Aunt Jamama did. <laughs> you, exactly. You, you know exactly. her smile. She just smiled exactly. on that box. Her man, real, that was man. the best smile in the world, man. And then they got hey, rid of her. So, I remember waking up to yeah. the fresh pancakes in the morning when I was young. And mm. my, my mm -hmm. mom whips out the Aunt Jamama. I just laughed. Gather it all over. Yeah, yeah man, that, that was the, the best, best part of the morning. Yeah, man. but My now, God. but now you can do that with cousin teas. Yeah, do you have cousin syrup teas? Too? I'm working on that. I'm mm. working on cool. syrup. I'm, I'm gonna do pure maple syrup. You know, some of that good stuff. See, this pancakes. This is good pancake mix. A lot of this stuff that you see in stores. Yeah, they have a bunch of added stuff in there, preservatives. Now, don't go to reading stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, don't hey, go man. to read nothing now. Don't read. Don't be reading. Don't ask any questions. <laughs> no, I'm playing. But, um, so are but, you like, but if you look at my ingredients and then you look at their ingredients, mm -hmm. I have less words, okay? <laughs> yeah. Less ingredients. Can you that pronounce mean, them? Huh? Yes, you can pronounce them. <laughs> That's good. Yes, depending less, on less depending, reading. Depending on, <laughs> yeah, you can pronounce them. I mean, depending on your education level. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you know. So yeah. I like I don't, that. If you can't pronounce these, I don't have nothing to do with that. It ain't my fault. <laughs> yeah. It's your fault. You know. But some of those ingredients you can't even pronounce. No, like, yeah, what yeah, is definitely. This? <laughs> you know, like it, I mean, what is this? It looks like some. I mean, it looked like a. Like some of the ingredients from a doctor's prescription. It's like, what is yeah. this stuff? You know, do they have, is it is these ingredients from Percocet? What is this? <laughs> Percocet. So, Y'all getting me drugged up on these? <laughs> no, no, I'm just, yeah. But, they don't know the yeah. word, but it tastes good. So I'm just yeah. trusted. But people are loving these pancakes. And this box right here, this is the Freedom Collector's Edition. Mm. Um, this is a great box. You know, I got red, white, and blue, the stars. I love America. I love my country. Um, but people are loving the mix. They love Cousin T's pancakes so good. I mean, people are just raving about this mix. And now, and now now, they have a face that, that, that will be... See, Aunt your Mama used to smile at us. You know, mm -hmm. she had that beautiful smile. So they took her smile away. But now people can wake up to my smile. Now we got Cousin T's. Yes, when they go in the kitchen like in the morning. <laughs> they Cousin T. Man, I love my cousin. He always smiling at me. I like you know? it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't nobody got me like Cousin yeah, T. Got me. I like it. Yeah. Now, you know, they didn't go off the Quaker, uh, the Quaker dude, the white dude. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man, they left him on there. It took yeah. all the black people away. But Rosarita's still on the refried beans, though. Who? Rosarita. Who is Rosarita? <laughs> She's on the refried beans. Was she black or white? She's Hispanic. She's I think Hispanic. she's Mexican. I don't know. But if Rosary. I'm going to riot if they ever take her off. Yeah, see, yeah. I don't think they want to mess with the Mexicans. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they going to mess wanna, with us Mexicans. Yeah, huh? yeah. They don't want to mess with <laughs> no. the Hispanics right now. They ain't about that life, you know? Yeah. Well, I just feel like the Mexicans are just chilling in the background, like, yeah, don't we even just, know what's going on. Like, yeah, we, just, we ain't got no, we, we ain't trying to be in all that, you know. We just our own people, you know. Yeah. yeah Leave yeah. us on the beans. We straight. And they yeah. took away uh, uh, the lady off of the butter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they took oh, her, Lando off Lakes. of the Yeah, yeah, Lando Why? Lakes. Why? They took the Indian she, lady off of her own box. That was like, that was like her land. That's ridiculous. That box was like her land. <laughs> yeah. And they Taking took, the land. and then they said it was racist to have her on the butter, but then they took her off the box. I mean, that's what they did back in the day. <laughs> well, you I know? think the same, oh, my goodness. the same people are upset about the Indian 
being on the butter and Aunt Jemima being on the box are going to be complaining yeah. like in five years. Like, mm-hmm. oh my goodness, there's no representation at the grocery store. Yeah, exactly. Yep. See, now they cry about, oh, we need more <laughs> representation. Yeah. We need more black owned, black, 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 support me because I'm black. <laughs> but then y'all going to go take away Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben. You dummies. Did <laughs> exactly. you not think about that? <laughs> Did you not think about that before you did that? Now, now you go in a grocery store, you don't see no faces. All you see is Tony the Tiger in there. I don't want to see no tiger. Every time I go to the grocery store, I want to see some people yep. on yeah. these food boxes, not just animals. Hey, but now we see Cousin T's. Yeah, yeah. now now we see Cousin T's. Yeah. Cousin T's. And you know, so I have this buttermilk. I have blueberry. I love the blueberry. I, I, well, I love it all. Um, but the blueberry is, is the second best seller. I have chocolate chip coming out. I have a birthday cake mix pancake. Mm. It's a it's a pancake. It's pancakes, but it tastes like birthday cake. Okay, tastes cool. just like birthday cake. So where can yeah. you get these from? Mixes? Uh, from cousintees.com. Cousintees.com. Cousintees. Okay. Cousintees.com. Is, yeah. Uh, you, no stores yet. No stores yet. Okay. But I am working on that. I am working on that. So hopefully I get picked up. You know, and this what is about in the, every uh, store around the world. What about the hats? I've been wanting a cousin T. Me too. Hat. I didn't see them oh, on the website. Oh yeah. I thought oh yeah, so I have my cousin T hat right here, cousin T's. Okay, know. okay. I was gonna I was gonna wear it, but I wanted to be a little professional, you know. <laughs> and I just got my hair cut too, so I took the hat off, you know. <laughs> I take my hat off when I have my hair cut, you know. But, <laughs> you know, if you see me with my hat on, I probably don't have a haircut. <laughs> yeah, <I feel> that. <laughs> well every video you well every video you have a hat on, that's because I never have a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Never well, you have some wigs on too. Yeah, uh-huh. you're not wearing a hat; you're wearing a wig. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That. When I'm yeah, when I'm clowning people, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some people used to like Terrence. Why are you always wearing that MAGA hat? You know, I wear my MAGA hat mm-hmm. sometimes. And they go, Why are you always wearing that MAGA hat? He's still wearing that MAGA hat. Trump is gone. He's still wearing that MAGA hat. I'm wearing it really well. First of all, you know, I mean. <laughs> I'm still MAGA, but I'm really wearing this hat because I don't have a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> My hair is nappy. Okay, so it was a cl- it was the hat nearest to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, what, what's funny is yeah. I remember um, I was at I was at Terrence's one day, and I was like, uh, this was before I knew who Terrence was, and I was like, man, Terrence, what do you do? And he said, I sell pancakes. I have my own pancake <laughs> pancake business. And I said, okay. You were like, I was like, like, he's a drug dealer. (laughs) I was like, Dave, this man must be making a living off some pancakes. Ain't no way. The best pancakes ever. He he on IHOP or something? Yeah. yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You know, it would be cool to, you know, like I I have been thinking about that. One day in the future, not now, it's too early because I just started. But, you know, I may do a Cousin T's restaurant. I might mm. do that. Oh, that'd be Maybe really cool. That'd like be nice. Like a brunch spot. Yeah, like a brunch spot. Yeah. yeah. Like, that'd be real yeah. nice. Yeah. Where you going today, Cousin T's? <laughs> yeah. that's, that's a good, uh, yeah. it, it rolls off the tongue, man. Yeah. Cousin yeah. T's. I like Ooh, that. Cousin T be cooking. You know, yeah. It rolls right off the tongue. Like when that. did you start Cousin T's? Uh, October of last year. October okay. of last year. Now, I've been doing great. I got coffee coming too. I forgot to mm. mention that. Oh, cool. Coffee. Yeah, Cousin T's coffee. Cool. It's going to cool. be some really great coffee. I love coffee. I have about two cups a day. You okay. Know? Back Big to back. Coffee guy. Back to back. <laughs> Dang. As soon as I get number one, I'll make another cup. How do, how do you like the coffee? And I, I only, look, I would have three or four or five, but I Googled and said, when I was, yeah, <laughs> you know, I, Google. I Google everything. I Google, can you have more than two cups a day? <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, nah, 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 because it is. I said, oh, whatever. Okay, I just have to. I just have a Diet Coke after my second cup of coffee. <laughs> you know? Keep, keep that caffeine going. <laughs> yeah. Keep that caffeine going. Gotta keep it. I love my aspartame. It's aspartame <laughs> and it's Diet Coke, you know. So um, some strong stuff. You know they said Coke. You know that some people say Coke if you pour it on ba- on, on your battery. It'll oh clear yeah. Battery yeah. acid. It'll, yeah. It'll yeah, some good strong, corrode all that good, stuff off of there. Yeah, yeah, some good strong stuff. I'm just it's probably cleaning my insides out right now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so so tell us. I use this for detox. I mean, <laughs> I'm detoxing right now. Hey, it, if it works, take it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, so tell us how how did you uh, get started in a. Like uh, being a politician and, and all that. Or poli- well, I'm not a politician. Com- comedian. I'm not a politician. <laughs> yeah. I just talk about politics, but I am not a politician. Okay. And, okay. Don't, and, and, and I don't plan on being one, you know. So what, what would you classify yourself as? Uh, comedian? I, com- yeah, comedian? Comedian that sells pancakes. Com- yeah, com- yeah. yeah Pancake, comedian that sells pancakes yeah, now, okay. you know. Yeah. 
I'm a pancake flipper, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, so how'd you get started? Um, where I'm did a your, cook. Where, okay. <laughs> where'd, your, where'd your shine come from before, oh, yeah. before you got into Cousin T's? Where'd, where my shine come yeah. from? Where, where'd your start come from? Well, I'm going to tell you, I used to be a class clown. So okay. I was, you know, I was a class clown. So, yeah. Uh, but that's where I started, like, doing comedy was mm. in school, in class. So... Where you, where you originally from? Oklahoma City. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oklahoma City. Everybody wanted to be in my class. Everybody wanted to be in my class. <laughs> oh, man. You're not in my class? Oh, no. <laughs> because I was clowning. You class know, clown right I there. was class clown, but the thing is, I was a smart class clown. Because I was a I was a class clown still making good grades. I was making A's. So you get done and, with your tests and, and start making jokes. And the people over here giggling, <laughs> kiki, kakan. Oh, Terrence is funny. They over here failing. Uh, I'm over here still passing. Probably because you're distracting them. Well, no, well <laughs> listen, listen, you know. Um, well, no, I don't think it was me distracting them. They were probably just not that smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I, be I, I clearly wasn't that focused being uh, a class clown. Yeah, you know, they always, they always expect, uh, uh, they always expect, okay, well, if you were a class clown, then, then, then you probably failed. No, I did not. Mm. Or you probably made bad. You probably made bad grades. No, I didn't. I was a smart, smart. Cl- I was a smart clown, you know. <laughs> no, but um, but back in when was it? It was back in 2016. I had made a uh, my my first video. Um, uh, I made my first video on Facebook, mm-hmm. and it was my very first video. I was on my lunch break. And I had just left Randall's. You know Randall's? Mm-hmm. The grocery yeah, store yeah. Randall's? Yeah. Now, you know they got that good fried chicken in there. <laughs> uh, speaking of chicken, I got my own fried chicken mix coming, too. In a <gasps> oh, couple my of goodness. Weeks. Oh, it's going to be just bomb. a business. They got, they got like good that. fried chicken in Randall's? Yeah, they got fried chicken but in Randall's. Randall's? The grocery store. Yeah, but they don't chi- exist anymore, do they? No, they still, yeah, yeah, they they still, still do. Oh, really? They still yeah. got them. Yeah. Oh, okay. For some reason, I don't yeah. know why. Yeah, stay off of Uber Eats. See, she used Uber Eats all the time. She, <laughs> she think everything is closed. <laughs> <laughs> is Walmart still open? <laughs> they still, Walmart's still open. Yeah, Walmart's still open. <laughs> 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 I thought they closed a year ago. I, I no, ain't never stay I ain't, off of Uber Eats. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't never heard nobody say they shop at Randall's. I I'm just gonna be honest. Well, they're, not, they're not really I around. Yeah, they, the first I, time I, I heard, I live in was, Katy, and there's I don't know for Randall's in Katy. Yeah. Oh, well, I've been like one time in my life, and it was just like I don't know. The first I just time feel like it's just depressing. First time I heard of it was in a uh, Rosenberg. <laughs> depressing. Yeah, like <laughs> I, I, I like. Did H-E-B. you buy? So you haven't ate any of their fried chicken? I never have. No. I That's why it was it. depressing, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they had fried chicken there. Yes, they do. I, did, I didn't know that. Yes, they. Yeah, you can go up there and they got fried chicken. Yeah, they. Yeah, they. They have a whole. They have a whole food. A hot, they have a hot food section there. Yeah, they have you a must, You must you must went to the Super Randalls. No, yeah, it's not the one, Super. The one no, I went to. no, no, no. And at that time, I was living in I was living in Austin. Now, in Austin, they got Randalls everywhere. But it's not, yeah, yes, mm. one actually, there, one, yeah, 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 they yeah. do. Yeah, they have a bunch of Randalls. I noticed that. I noticed yeah. that. Now here in Houston, they don't have that many. Yeah, but but they are around though. You just gotta Google Randalls, you yeah. know, and it'll pop up on your phone. So I'm were you sure working at Randalls? Up. Huh? Were you working? No, there? I was not working at Randalls. I was on I was on my lunch break. Um, and I got me some, I, what I get, I, I, I love legs. So I had me two fried chicken legs and I had me a side of macaroni and cheese. Oh, it was so cheesy. Boom. I'm just, mm. <laughs> mm. I got to, I got to, I got to see what you're talking about. Y'all trying to go to Randall's? Yeah. Man, y'all trying to go to Randall's <laughs> after this? Definitely. I'm buying Let's go. That is the best. Oh my God. That mac and cheese is so good. Um, uh, and I had some, uh, I, I was, I, I was going to, Say that I had some greens because I wanted, but I didn't. <laughs> I had mashed potatoes and macaroni and cheese. <laughs> you know, I wanted to say greens because people always like, "What well, did you have any vegetables?" Yeah, yeah I did. Green it just beans. sounds better. It sounds better, right? Yeah. It sounds like the right thing, yeah. right? <laughs> it sounds like the healthy thing. You know, no, I had two legs and a thigh. I forgot about my thigh <laughs> because they do. They got a three piece deal. So I had so I had two legs, a thigh, some mac and cheese, and I asked him, "Can you put a little bit more in there?" Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Randall's doing it like that. A little bit more, and then I had me some mashed potatoes, and I was in my car, and I was eating my food, and I was scroll, and you know, and I was scrolling on Facebook, and and a lot of my friends, you know, we were going back and forth about 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 Africa and, and the treatment of black people in in uh, in, um, in um, America, and. Um, and I was scrolling down my timeline, and people were talking about Terrence. 
you know, tagging me, dude, we need to move back to Africa. I said, move back? I said, mother, I ain't never been to Africa. I ain't moving to Africa, you stupid. <laughs> like, <laughs> so I said, you know what, let me try this Facebook Live thing, because it was new at the time. It, oh, was a, okay. it was new at the time. Yeah. So I had went live on Facebook, but you can. But I had set mine on private though. Uh, I had set mine on private. Then after I got done with the video, I hit the public button, and then everybody could see it. Mm. You know. But it was my first shot, and I just said, "Oh, I said, oh, this this, this thing is on private. Let me hit public." I'm like, ain't nobody watching this thing. I didn't get one view at all. <laughs> I mean, my, you know, you know, you got your, you know the old folks yeah. following you on there. So, oh, my auntie haven't viewed it yet. You know. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So, uh, but the video was about you know. Uh, so the so the video was just about how. You know, Africa wasn't my home, and that was the title. That was the title of it. I said the uh, the title of the video was "Africa Ain't My Home," um, and I never been. And it did, yeah. And it was a, it was a long title. I can't even remember the whole title, <laughs> but it was long. It was. I typed out. I mean, I probably typed out everything I talked about in the title. <laughs> <laughs> I, typed out, I typed out a whole paragraph. <laughs> You didn't even have to watch it. <laughs> just, just, just read, read the paragraph. <laughs> just read the title. So, so he we, give it away in the title. So I said, Africa ain't my home. I said, why in the hell do y'all want to move to Africa? I said, y'all, I said, do y'all not know? And this was, and this video was so, I did not, this video was so controversial. I pissed off so many people, made so many people laugh. And I was eating my chicken too while I was like talking. So I was stopping, like, hold on, give me a moment. And I was eating my chicken. It was so good. I was closing my eyes, like, oh, my God, the chicken's so good. But I was just basically saying, listen, America is the greatest country. I don't know why y'all want to move to Africa. I said, I said, and y'all telling me I should move to Africa? I said, I've never been. And I said, um, and, uh, and what else did I say? I, so, you know, I was just, and, see, people took it. See, people are so sensitive, okay? Mm. You know, people are so sensitive because I was, you know, like some of the stuff I said, I wasn't really serious, you know, you know, I was just, you know, making jokes, but you know, it was, it was, it was a little bit of truth though. And I was just like, Africa ain't my home. I said, why y'all want to Africa? I said, I said, half y'all Negroes are scared of dogs and y'all want to move to Africa. <laughs> I'm like, come on now. I said, man, I said, y'all want to move to Africa. I said, half of y'all need health insurance. Do you not know they have flies out there that will kill your ass? <laughs> They are, I said, Blue Cross Blue Shield ain't paying for that. <laughs> talking about y'all want to move to Africa. <laughs> you know, at the same time, talking about you want some government help. You ain't getting no government assistance over there. <laughs> you fools. So did, did you, at the time of making this, did you know it would be as big no, as No, I did not know. I did not know, which is crazy. I didn't have any followers. I mean, the only people that followed me were, you know, people from... From high school. And this was on live, so you didn't have, like, many people, like, watching you. At no, time, not at all. It was not private. At, not at <laughs> all. But, like, people, but, but like, some of my friends were, like, tagging other people. And so what I think, what, and this video, I say in about, what, in, like, over 24 hours, the video already had over a million views hitting on wow. going Damn. then two wow. then three then four then five then six and what, because what, what I, your mind? because what i what i think what happened was is that somebody had a cousin or a friend <laughs> who had a big platform yeah and probably shared my video mm -hmm. and then that's how it went viral because oh. there's no way i could have i mean i only had a few followers you know yeah i only mm -hmm. had a probably, probably well not a i had about a thousand people you know, mm -hmm. I think everybody has about a thousand followers. Yeah, you know, on you Facebook. Know. You know, on Facebook, you know, yeah. there's people like that you know or you work with, yeah. you know, or some people that owe you money. Or, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I have, a, so when Joe invited me onto the podcast, I was super excited. Um, and I read your book because I wanted to do my homework. I, I, I wanted to be a good Thank student. You. It was fantastic. Thank you. Um, but in your book, you talked about, um, how like you didn't really you weren't really into politics like that no wasn't, I, no that so, wasn't the point no so i was so so that was not the point yeah at all so i was not into politics um you know in the video you know that i made i was just going on and on about how uh, uh how america is great but then this was in 2016 so uh the trump the trump the, hillary election yeah so the trump hillary election mm -hmm. was around like well actually when i made this video uh trump was not even the chosen candidate you know he was not you know and 
Hill, I mean, this is when there, there were like 17 Republicans on stage. So, you know, they were still debating and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So, I mean, he wasn't even the, the Republican nominee when I made this video. Hillary wasn't even the Democratic, uh, the, the, the nominee for the, the Democratic Party. Yeah, for the Democratic Party. Um, so it wasn't about politics, but everybody wanted to know, hey, new guy, who are you going to vote for? Mm -hmm. And people were asking questions they didn't want to know the answer to. <laughs> the people were at, and you know, people were asking me like, "Who who are you going to vote for?" And I had some, and I had some people tell me, "Terrence, please don't get into the politics. No, just don't do it. Don't." I said, "But they're asking me, you know." And they said, "Don't do it because we know who you're going to say. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do it. You are about to commit." You are about to. You are. You are about to. Uh, 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 you are about to commit career suicide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you are about to kill your career of being an actor, comedian, mm -hmm. whatever you want to be. It's about to be killed. You know, so whatever. So just don't do it to save yourself. But me being me, you know, I, I just like if if I feel a way, like if if I feel some kind of way, then you know I have to express how I feel. And yeah. then if it, I, I just can't pretend like, you know, well, Terrence, just act like you're a Democrat or, 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 or like act like you're on this side or that side. So I'm really not on, I'm really not on those. I'm really not on the side. This is just how I feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I think you know, like the side of common is, sense. Yes. This is what I believe in. Mm -hmm. So and you telling me that I can't express what I believe in or else be, to, to save my career. So but then you, but then people call me a sellout for 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 supporting republicans or or conservative candidates well i know i would have been a sellout if i would like if i would have you know said nothing because i really wanted to say something mm -hmm. and i really wanted to tell people like how i felt about what was going on in like in the world and and uh, and uh, who i was voting for uh, but if i was going to pretend to be some liberal that would have been a sellout because that's not who I that's yeah. not who I really am. Um, but people asked me and I said Trump and I, oh my God, people <laughs> had a meltdown. Were these like oh, fam family members, friends? Yeah. People on the people who follow like no family too. Yeah, friends. I mean, so many people came out the woodworks and they were so mad. But some of the people who had just followed me from that viral video, they were the ones asking, who are you going to vote for? We so want to know. You know, and I said, I'm voting for Donald Trump. People were like, I got all kind of messages because at that time I was checking every message because this is new to me. Everybody yeah. following me, messaging mm -hmm. me. And I'm like, thank you, 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 you know. And I got I just received so many messages and I'm looking at the threads and it's people's I love you so much. That video you made was just so funny. It went to fuck you. <laughs> I can't believe you would vote for Donald Trump. Your career is over. Your 15 minutes of fame is up. I'm like, dang, you just told me you love me. <laughs> My God, you lied to me. You lied to me. You don't love me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People, people that were saying, oh, I will always support you no matter what. Yeah, right. Yeah. As soon as I said Trump, they said, I will never, ever, <laughs> ever support you again. They just switched up. You like just that. lied like, oh, to I me. I was drunk when I said that. Y'all playing with my emotions, <laughs> man. No, yeah. So, and from that, from that moment on, and now, so when that happened, I was just shocked about, I, I was just shocked seeing so many people upset. I was like, wow, people are really mad. Tell it, calling me all kind of names, you coon, you sell out, you Uncle Tom, you whitewash, you kicked out the black community. I said, kicked out? <laughs> what you mean I'm kicked out? I said, you can't kick. I said, well, I said, well, well, kicking me out. I said, well, what is the disadvantage? <laughs> That's what I said. What is the disadvantage? Because I never knew what the benefit was. I said, and half of y'all Negroes owe me money, so I ain't going nowhere till you pay me back. So what, you would respond to these people? Yes. Then I started making all these videos, responding back, mm -hmm. saying, yeah, I support Trump. Because I was just like, hold on. These people were bashing me, telling me to shut up, and you need to stop this now. You need to think about what you just said. No, so I just, so that's how I got into politics, mm -hmm. you know? But it's, you know, those people... They, they're the ones who wanted it. 
Yeah. yeah. Because I was just my I was I, I wasn't talking like my my first video that went viral, it was not about any politician at all. I didn't say Trump, I didn't say Republican, Democrat, I didn't mention liberal, conservative, I didn't mention anything political. You know, mm -hmm. all I said was I'm not moving to Africa. Y'all fools is crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? What you wanna go to Africa for? <laughs> <laughs> and so so you actually met uh, President Trump. Yes, right? I did. Which 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 was a blessing, you know, like yeah. I talk about in my book, mm -hmm. you know, like like coming from coming from foster care, I never in my life imagine meeting someone like Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. You know, like you know, back in the day Donald Trump was like Oh, you know, like he was like the, you know, he still is the man, yeah. but you know, he He's was like, the, money, but man. yeah, but he was like the man to everybody. All the rappers used to rap yeah. his name, and, oh, and yeah. you know, he used to hang with all the superstars. Yeah. I mean, Oprah was sitting on his lap. I mean, I think she won. I mean, she, you know, he was on the Oprah show. <laughs> yeah, she was. She was almost sitting on the man's lap. <laughs> yeah. like yeah. dang, Oprah, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Oprah got jungle fever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so how how'd that yeah. go about did he just like um had yeah. people message you or yeah well so uh so he <laughs> so well first he retweeted me on twitter mm. so he was just retweeting my stuff and he was getting in trouble for it you know back when he had his twitter <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah back, when twitter. Oh back when he had his right yeah so <laughs> what so <laughs> so i had made now i had made a video about uh the jeffrey epstein uh, mm. uh suicide and i said word around the video i said word around the street I said, the homies is telling me <laughs> this ain't coming from me because I'm not trying to end up dead. OK, so I, this is not this is not coming from me. I just want to let you know that, Hillary, this ain't coming from me. <laughs> I don't want to end up dead. This is coming. The homies is telling me the word around the word, the word, the word around the block. Is that the Clintons killed Jeffrey Epstein? <laughs> I, I said that's not coming from me. That's what I heard, and Trump retweeted that. Oh my gosh! Oh amazing. man, are you still alive? The the media, the media, the media went crazy. Pre the president of the United States just just retweeted a conspiracy, and oh, they were going on and on about it, and they were playing my clip and. Oh, dude, it was so funny, <laughs> Dang, but and, that's crazy. but then like after that, I was like, man, he probably he will probably never retweet me again because this tweet got him in trouble, and he kept retweeting me, you know. <laughs> and he was like, I didn't make the tweet. He tweeted that. They said, but you retweeted. He said, I didn't make the tweet. He tweeted that. <laughs> I think he has a lot of fun with that though. Yeah, I think a, he, when he he, mm -hmm. he likes to irritate. I think he thinks yeah. it's really funny. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's funny yeah. too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it is funny. It's crazy um, how they took that man's Twitter. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy, you know. But uh, but but Elon said he's gonna uh, give him his account back. But I don't think Trump is gonna come back to Twitter. You yeah, because he has Listen. truth. Because he has truth, you mm -hmm. know. But then you know, when somebody kick you from out of their house, do you want to go back? Probably not. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Wait, so what is truth? Is that another? Um... Yeah, that's yeah, that's his own social media oh, site. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Truth. it's like Twitter. Mm -hmm. okay. I was on the wait list what? and I was accepted in. Oh, do, do, you have, do you have an account? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got one. Yeah. Uh, what is this? It's truth? like what is it's it? uncensored. Social media. Yeah, social media. What? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did he create it? Mm-hmm. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I didn't Which know that. Just really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I never heard that. of that. That's cool. So, yeah. so he retweeted you, and then he. Ended yeah. Up so, you. well, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. So from that, I feel like I already met him. I was like, man, the president is retweeting me. That's a yeah. big thing. Yeah. To have the, pre you know, regardless of your political views, if the president is retweeting you, that's mm -hmm. crazy. And I, I, and and even the liberals who hated him, anytime he would retweet one of them, even though they hated him, I'm pretty sure they were like, wow. Yeah. yeah. I just got retweeted by him. Yeah, you know, exactly. And even though his response like may have been you loser, <laughs> they were happy. I yeah. mean, th they were writing books. The president called me a loser. <laughs> <You know? laughs> well, he was putting them on the map. Yeah, they were honored. Yeah. You know, the, you know, to be honest, the media loved they loved him. They still do. They he talk took, about him all the time. He, he took every interview. So as much as CNN, you know, talk crap about him, he took every interview. He took every single question. Mm -hmm. He never dodged a question or an interview. He always took it, you know, whether mm -hmm. he answered the way you wanted to or not. You know, he took the question. He, he answered the question. It may not have been what you expected, you know, it may have been 
you know, well, I don't know, but he answered the question though, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you know. You think you think Biden will ever retweet? No. <laughs> <laughs> he don't even know how to work his phone. <laughs> Biden don't even know how to work his phone. <laughs> Now maybe I mean, now 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 maybe his staff will, you know. So he, he's yeah. probably not even allowed to use his phone because he just be deleting stuff and don't even know he deleting it. Just stop, Joe. You delete. Don't delete that, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you just accidentally deleted your Twitter account. <laughs> but that's why. That's why he can't tweet for him, for himself because he might delete his account on an accident. <laughs> I'm telling you this. <laughs> so what what do you think about him falling off the bike? I heard oh, someone man. flattened the first tire of, on purpose. First of all, don't he fell get, off a bike? Yes, yeah. he fell off a bike. Well, and he wasn't. It was his station. He was stationary. Now Putin is scared. Now <laughs> Putin is scared of Joe. Now after he saw that, you know, see these leaders around the world, they see stuff like this and they yeah. laugh it's like, oh God, man, come on, you know. Um, but first of all, I don't. He like Joe. Don't get on a bike. You can barely walk. <laughs> <laughs> Have y'all seen all those clips of him falling while he's walking up the steps? You can barely walk, bro. But do you bro. think it was his idea to get on the bike, or you think somebody was like, "It was his idea"? Bike. I believe, I believe it. I don't think his handlers wanted him to get on a bike. <laughs> I know they told his him. Handlers. I know they told I saw, him. I saw something that was like uh, President Trump, if he runs in twenty twenty four, he should like troll him and come in on a bike. Oh, Trump! Uh, Trump! Trump, <laughs> Trump already <laughs> pledged. He said, "I pledge to you." That I will never ever <laughs> ride a bike. <laughs> First of all, Trump got too much money to be on a bike. <laughs> he ain't got time to ride a bike. <laughs> That's big bank right there. He ain't got time to ride no bike. Hey, <laughs> he gotta uh, go make some deals. <laughs> yeah. Trump is tall, man. Yeah. I, remember, I saw that uh, when you were at. Was it at the White House? Don't or? you don't you say it? <laughs> hey, don't the, don't the you? The mic was up here. Don't you compare our? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Who put this up here? Yeah, come on. That boy had to get on a ladder to get on the know, to get the mic. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, but uh, President Trump is tall. That's you know, I was looking at him like he was my daddy. Like, hey. <laughs> for real, I felt like I was his son on stage. Uh, how tall is he? You got to look up at this man. Uh, Trump is tall. I didn't he, know that. Boy, Trump, tall, man. Yeah, Trump like six. He like six five. Yeah, he about six. Yeah, I think he, I, he, he he about six four, six five. Trump tall. I believe it's crazy. And his son Eric. Because his Trump, wife tall as hell too. Eric Eric Trump is oh, taller than him. Dang. Yeah, Dang. and uh, Melania tall too. Yeah. <laughs> she <laughs> is a tall, beautiful woman. Oh my goodness, that is my first lady. She <laughs> is so <laughs> tall and beautiful. You know. Yeah. Uh, That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, but Joe, you know, for. Forget about Joe, but yeah, it was an honor meeting yeah. President Trump, though, you know, and I tell people, like, regardless of who the president uh, was, like, it would have been great meeting the president, mm -hmm. period. Not too many people get to shake the president's hand, you yeah, know, yeah, oh, yeah. not too many people. You know, I listen, I don't I don't care for Joe. I wouldn't shake Joe's hand because he's so <laughs> fragile, <laughs> you know, yeah, out of respect. You yeah, break I, out of respect for him, you know, because at the same time, I do respect my elders. OK, <laughs> now I'm not going to shake his hand. He's so fragile. I don't want him to break. <laughs> you know, that's the only reason why I would not shake his hand. But if he invited you over, you'd, you'd huh? go over if he invited you over, you'd go over. Uh, <laughs> depending on what, <laughs> what if he he, mess he, he messaged the, you on Twitter and said, "Hey, let's go for a bike ride." You go for a bike. I'm not going for a bike ride. <laughs> they, they 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 might kill me. <laughs> that, no, we're not going. No, we're not going on no bike ride. Maybe not, you can do like the y'all not the taking candy. me to the woods. All that shit talking I've been doing. You are not taking me on no trail or anything. No. Now you want to invite me to the White House? What's up? What you want? What you want to talk about? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, like, but if I come, you got to answer some questions. Okay. <laughs> I'm not finna be coming to, to be smiling, but like, 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 why do you want me here? What is it for? Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, but I'm not coming as your homie. See, when Trump invited me, I was coming as the homie. Yeah. That's the homie right there. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the homie. No, but, um, but like, but Trump, like meeting him was just phenomenal and coming from, coming from the system. I never thought that I would even be at the White House. First of all, grow, like growing up in foster care, I mean, I, I mean, I was living in children's shelters. I was bouncing from home to home. I wasn't thinking about a White House, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a White House. What's that? You know, that never crossed my yeah, mind. Far from your mind. That never crossed my mind. How did you, you know? end up in foster care? In foster care? Yeah, how? 
uh my mother uh she was unable to take care of me and my siblings uh because of her drug uh uh her her drug habits you know okay so yeah that's why so yeah. what do you what do you think and and, and and my mom had well nine kids and none of none of the fathers were in the picture either so she was dealing with this addiction and she was you know she was you know she was not being being a mother so mm -hmm. you know we were so so we were taken away of a lot of stuff so what, what yeah. do you think about these um and not to change the subject but i hear a lot of women say um i'd rather have an abortion than put my child into foster care because foster yeah. care is just so bad and all these kids in there what what's your opinion on that yeah so the roe v wade thing you know that is a very touchy touchy subject for a lot of people mm -hmm. and um you know listen I say have the baby. That's mm -hmm. my, I say have the baby. Just have the baby, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, some people say, well, what if the woman was raped and, uh, or, or, or the baby, or, or what if there was incest? Well, uh, they, they, the numbers are, are out there. Mm -hmm. Most women that are raped, like, that, a lot of them don't even like the ones who do get pregnant. A lot of them don't even get an abortion because yeah. some of them say, well, the baby is not the, the monster. It was it right. was it was that man. Yeah. Not it's it is not the baby's fault, you know. Um, and that's so that's very rare, yeah. you know. Um, I think it's point five percent. I think it's point. Yeah. I think it's yes, a whole percent. Yeah. It's like point five. Yeah. Yeah, and you know what? Listen, I, I can't even imagine what like what like what a woman who has been raped like bit like mm -hmm. like what she's been through, was like her, her like like what she's going through mentally and mm -hmm. and then having a baby in her stomach from and and it's from the guy who had like 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 who had raped her. I mean, I, I listen. Um, I don't want to you know. I never want to sound like insensitive because yeah. i mean like i like i think that's something hard to like deal with probably yeah you know um but at the same time i am the person that will say you know just have the baby you know have the baby have the baby do you think foster care is uh, but i wouldn't personally tell a tell a woman that was raped like i personally wouldn't like like she can deal with the state mm -hmm. she can deal with the government with that but I'm not going to go to social media and say, hey, you woman, I know you were raped, but you better have that. Ba like, I'm not I'm not going to do that. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm not like I, I'm going to stay back, you know. Yeah. You know, yeah. Let, let's say for the cases where it's not none of that is just a woman out there, you know, just being young and dumb, yeah. getting pregnant. And then would you say um, a f like foster care is a better yeah. option. You better be careful. You're going to get counseled early, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you just called a woman young and dumb. No, this I mean, boy, <laughs> you are on your way to get counseled already. No, we've all this been there, young and dumb. This boy, <laughs> young and dumb. What he mean, we young and dumb? Yeah, hey, that's I, what, I, hey, that's that's what Khalid said. Yeah, right. uh, hey, no, they're going to take that the wrong way. And they're going to take it the wrong way. Hey, out of all things some I women, yeah, podcast. Some women get abortion being raped. You calling them young and dumb? <laughs> you calling them dumb for getting raped? I did not say that. Yeah, exactly. I did not say that. Out <laughs> of all things, they're going to take yeah, that you little clip. You're going to get canceled early. They're going to take that one clip. Listen, young I've and been, dumb. listen, I've been canceled, so I know what's going to get them canceled. I'm just like, listen. <laughs> okay, let's just put I'm a different just, word yeah. there. <laughs> so yes. Replace that with some exactly. better, better uh, phrase. I'm going to have to start a class. How not to get canceled, you know? Yeah, I'm going yeah. to have to take but that. Now, listen. You're, you're asking, like, as if what his thoughts are on using abortion as a form of birth control as a form of yeah. birth yeah yeah as a form of birth control now um so i did make a tweet uh which a lot of people responded back with talking crap i said you know people talking about abortion is health care so okay listen uh having an abortion because it's going to mess up your career is not health care that's not health care no 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 you just don't want to mess up your career yeah. okay Getting an abortion because you had a one night stand is not health care. Mm -hmm. That is not health care. You know, like getting an abortion for personal reasons, that's not health care yeah. at all. And that's a, a horrible excuse. And I hear people say, well, well, why would if she can't afford if they can't afford to take care of the baby, then why have it so it can end up in foster care? Yeah. Have the baby. Mm -hmm. Give like give that baby a 
a chance, you know? Yeah, exactly. Now, my, now my mother could have easily gotten an abortion. I mean, my mother was doing drugs. She could have, she, I, she could have done all kind of things to, to, to uh, kill me mm-hmm. and my siblings, but she didn't though, you know. And please believe me, people on drugs know how to abort a baby. Yeah, they know how to have a miscarriage. They, you know, because they know, hey, I cannot drink and I cannot do drugs while I'm, while I'm, while I'm pregnant. Yeah. But if I do, I will have a miscarriage. So they can easily say. I'm gonna continue to to, to yeah. do these drugs, you know. Um, but yeah, I yeah like, I, you know, I think people should just have the kids, and if you can't take care of them, there are families out here that would love to foster, that would love to adopt, and just because you can't take care of your child doesn't mean that child cannot have a life. You know, that child can live without you. That child mm-hmm. does not listen. It'll be great. For that child to have you in the, it'll be great for your children to have to, to, to have their mother and father but if you don't want to be there they can live without you they can breathe without you mm-hmm. you know they can survive without you it will be hard it's not going to be easy but they can do it you yeah. know um i went in the system when i was i i was in my first foster home before i started kindergarten you know you see wow you see me, I'm breathing right now, right? Mm-hmm. I'm on this podcast right now, right? You, you have know? Cousin T's pancakes. Yeah, I have my going, yeah, I have Cousin T's pancakes. I'm, I'm out here flipping flapjacks. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, like let that child live. Yeah. You met and the president of the United States. I love, yes, exactly. And I met the president of the United States. And some people say, well, well, like, if that, well, it's not just foster care. What if what if the parent can't take care of them and then this then this child end up having like a very poor life and don't have much? Well, I mean, like, are they go through all these problems because they don't have their mother? People are going to go th- through things regardless. Mm-hmm. I know people with both parents and they are like going through hell and back. I know people with both parents and they are not doing that well mentally. So like it doesn't matter let like let like let the child live because you never know how someone will turn out you know yeah so that's how I feel about it nice yeah. nice yeah that's true um I, f- I feel like <clears throat> a lot of people think that just because they have it hard that um or that life isn't supposed to be hard right like they they see that oh, I got to go through this obstacle or something, so I shouldn't have to have to do that. Or, um, like, they feel like they should be spoon-fed. Like, everything yeah. should be given to them. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? I just thought about this. I believe a lot of people are lying when they say, oh, I'm getting an abortion because I don't want my child to be poor. You lying sack of shit. Yeah. You are lying. You lying. You want some new shoes, <laughs> and you know that that shoe money gonna have to go to diapers. You yeah, lying yeah. sack of shit. You yeah. quit lying. People be lying. Yeah. I don't believe that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. don't believe that one bit. I know so many poor people be that are happy to have kids. Like mm-hmm. you are poor, but you are happy to have all these kids. Yeah. And some They're, people don't have barely. Don't, some people barely have anything, and they just having kids and having kids. I mean, the family who uh, who uh, the like the family that adopted me, they didn't have much money at all. So and they and they had their own kids mm-hmm. and they adopt me and, and a couple of my other siblings. Yeah. So and they didn't have much much money. So please don't say that you just don't want to have kids because you don't want the kids to, to to have a poor lifestyle. Oh, whatever. Whatever, because you're enjoying your poor lifestyle in Miami right now on vacation. <laughs> so shut your mouth. I think and you I'm, don't have no money. I you, think I'm right. Um, going to get canceled, but you can't get canceled if you're nobody, right? <laughs> no, you are somebody. Um, <laughs> um, but have you met Candace? Yes, I met okay, Candace. Okay, that's yeah. how I first came across you because I heard you on Candace's show. Okay. I don't know if it was like Can- the Candace owned show or, or was Prager. it her old? Yeah, I think it was Prager. Yeah. Um, Prager you. Yeah. But she was talking recently on her show with Daily Wire that um, she thinks that there's going to be a ton of women that are lying because you know how companies are willing to pay to fly women out to have abortions? Yeah. Like how are, she was like talking about like, women having to, how are you going to prove that you were pregnant and had an abortion? So like really she thinks that they're going to be taking vacations to Miami with that $4,000. Oh, they are. Oh, they're going to be balling out. Wait, they're going to get some money for that? Well, so like 
companies are willing to uh, fly, like let's say you're pregnant and you're in Texas and you can't oh. have an abortion anymore. Oh, well, we can fly you to, I don't know where what, it's Florida? closest. Yeah. I don't no. know Florida. Yeah, I don't know. I s- I they're going to, yeah, they're going to fly. Well, definitely New York or California. Yeah, yeah um, fly them to abortion Yeah, states. and like I think, I forgot what company said, like up to $4,000. I think Amazon will pay up to $4,000. So Candace thinks that people are going to just start saying like, I'm pregnant and I'm going to go have an abortion. They are. And Amazon's going to have to fork up the money because they said they would. Mm. No, 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 no. Cousin T's will not be paying for abortions. Had that baby, <laughs> and that baby gonna be an intern, okay? That baby gonna be an intern yeah. for Cousin T. Yeah, but also, I was reading that. Mat- <laughs> <laughs> I want the whole family working for me, you know? He said an intern. <laughs> Making oh opportunities over exactly. here. Exactly. Like we actually, we're gonna use that baby for a photo shoot. Yeah. Hey, yeah, they're gonna sir. be Cousin T's restaurants yeah. everywhere uh-huh. by that time. Yeah. 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 But I think, but I was reading it's cheaper to send your employee to an abortion than it is to pay for maternity. Leave. Oh, exactly. Yeah. And Amazon has really fantastic maternity and paternity like benefits. These companies do not care about these women. They don't care about their mm-hmm. babies. All they care about is having somebody on the clock. They yeah. care about having bodies on the clock. Mm-hmm. That's all they care yeah. about. And it costs more to send them on 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 a uh, maternity leave than to like yeah, like so it's cheaper for them to to pay for an abortion mm-hmm. because then they get to take months off of work. Mm-hmm. But if they really cared about people having children and, st- and also starting families, then they would pay for some of their employees to take time off after they have, uh, or, or no, they would pay them to like, so with some companies, if you have, uh, well, if you adopt or foster a, a child, you can take time off. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there are kids all over the U.S. who need homes, and in some states there are more than others. So why are they? So why are, if they care about people, and if, if they care about children and people starting families, why don't they? Why are they not offering to pay for someone to travel to go adopt a child mm-hmm. or to foster a child? Mm-hmm. Why are they not offering to pay for that? Why not? Yeah. Y'all only paying for abortions. You're not paying to help a kid. You know. Come on now. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. I feel like if you pay, so you're saying like uh, pay them to uh, adopt or foster? Is that what you're saying? No, like the, pay the for their flights and for their oh, travel. Like if they wanted to go and foster. <laughs> no, yeah. So for instance, if somebody wanted to, if somebody wanted to, if somebody in uh, Texas wanted to adopt a child, uh, uh, well, let's use um, one of these blue states. Uh, New York. Uh, well, no. Let's yeah. So yeah. So let's yeah. So let's use one of these. Well, no. We ain't gotta use a. We don't have to use um a, a specific state. But this is the thing: if someone in a one state wants to adopt a child that lives in another state, why are these companies not offering to pay for their flights? Why oh, not? Okay, yeah. yeah. Why not? There is a child. I live in Alabama, but there's a child in Texas who needs to be adopted. And and that I can't adopt, that me and my spouse can adopt. Why like why won't the company pay for that? Pay for their flights. Mm, yeah. mm-hmm. You know? Exactly. Why yeah, not? Yeah. You know, why not? Because mm. they want to make money. They want to make money. It's yeah. all, it's because it's not about them caring about the person. They they are saving money, you know. Mm-hmm. They are saving money and they're happy now. Oh yes. Oh yes, they happy now. Yeah. What what are your thoughts on the world right now, like the the way the way everything's going? I don't know about the world, but well, in America, America, in America, in America, America. I don't know what's going on over in Ghana. I don't know. <laughs> well, when I say world, uh, I mean <laughs> this is this I is don't, world see that's what's wrong with America. You talking about the U.S. That's what's wrong with yeah, Americans. Yeah. We think the world is America. <laughs> <laughs> the world does revolve around America, though. I can tell you that much. Yeah. You know <laughs> what's going? On? I don't know what's going on in China. I don't know. <laughs> what do you like? Predicts going to happen come November? See, I stopped myself. I almost said something. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna cancel it right there. I was, I was, I was, I was gonna say, I don't know. I don't know they were making iPhones. I don't know. Oh my god, that what? Why would you say that? You're like, oh god, you say racist. Because <laughs> like, iPhones. It's more than iPhones over there being made. Like, okay, my couch. <laughs> there, I know they're doing great in China because, 
you know? Yeah, yeah China, China, China's doing good. I heard China. my checker tag in my house. China, <laughs> yeah. China, 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 China. Exactly. China, China. China, China, China. everywhere all in America. China. Wait, wait where's Cousin I'll, T's made? Uh, America. Uh, <laughs> if you bought some pancakes from China, you crazy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got to be crazy. If you bought some pancakes that they made in China, you about the dumbest. Hey, China be making everything you nowadays, though. The, they ain't making my damn pancakes. <laughs> They get the hell out of here! Uh, <laughs> shit. Hey, yeah. so so you wrote a this book? This ain't no what, this pancake mix. It tastes like a fortune cookies. <laughs> See, Canceled. I can't say that on TV. That, no, seriously, seriously. And with me being associated with Republicans, because I'm really, I don't really like, I don't like them right now, because you know, like they don't know how to play the game. The Democrats are smart. They know how to play the game. They know how to play the game. They know how to tap into people's emotions. Yeah. They know how to make people vote with their emotion mm -hmm. and not with their emotions, you know, and not voting for policy. You know, they, you know, like they vote for, oh, well, this is how I feel about this person. Well, everything's about yeah. feelings. Yeah, feelings. So. Exactly. Yeah. You know, um, but yeah, no. Yeah. This is made in America. Some American pancakes. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to have to get those. Um, what was I, I do got Chinese workers. Wait, so I'm just where wondering. did your? <laughs> oh oh no! I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> where did just... your patriotism come from? My patriotism. Yeah. How long have you always? Well, I've always loved my country. Yeah. I don't know. People think I hate America. Why? What you hate America for? <laughs> because we were slaves. You were not a damn slave. See that. Is one thing in my uh, first video that I talked about too. People mm -hmm. are mad at me. We all talk talking about, about your first we video. we were slaves. No, we were not slaves. <laughs> Who the hell is we? I wasn't no damn slave. Half y'all don't even like to show up to work. Tell me you were slaves. <laughs> Shut your ass up. You no damn slave. You get paid twice a week. Slaves didn't get paid twice a week. Well, you got hell. You got dental health, eye insurance. <laughs> I care all of me. Come on, you think slaves had eye? They, you think they had eye insurance? Come on, man. <laughs> eye insurance. Let me see what's wrong with your eyes. <laughs> Give a damn about the eyes, you know? Um, there was yeah. A, I, I was talking to, to one of these dudes. I wouldn't call him my friend. I don't really know him. We talked every now and then, but um, he said he had said something about Mexicans, and I said, "Man, nowadays I would be considered racist." And he was a black dude, and he said. Bro, I'm black. I can't be racist. Yeah, black <laughs> black people can be racist. We can black people and Mexicans can be racist too. Hispanics can Hispanics can be racist. Did you too. see that? Did you see the thing about the teacher that she like uh, made her kids sing like some song? Uh, she she changed the national. I anthem. pledge allegiance to the African Amer Afro American yeah. Afro Afro. Why am, why am I pledging to people who racist. have afros? <laughs> I don't have no afro. <laughs> What I got a place to the Afro? What is an Afro American? <laughs> an Afro be, African American? Wouldn't that be racist? Yeah. But she said Afro yeah, African. Afro, Afro African. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. That's what she said. Because I got uh, my hair cut, I don't count. Like, you know what? what I mean, this stuff is stupid, though. Come on, they need to stop all of this. Bro, you know? I saw that. I was like, but, are you serious? Like, what if it was the yeah. other way around? Like, yeah. What if it was a white person that made you change the the pledge of allegiance to say I pledge allegiance to the white supremacist or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. I, I think I think it's a bit much, but people kill me when they say we were slaves and we were in slavery for four hundred years. If you were in slavery for four hundred years and you are alive today, you are not human. <laughs> you are the devil. You need to get away from me. <laughs> that, that's like those uh, uh, Dracula. Biblical please Asian. get away from me. You <laughs> are a vampire. Okay, Dracula. and I'm pretty sure you've been alive longer than four hundred years. <laughs> get away from me, you monster. <laughs> Yeah, we. yeah, they you know, we. people are so stuck on race, but that's but see, race baiting is, is a money maker. Mm -hmm. People make money off of race baiting. They make money off of this stuff, you know. And what I want my fellow black people to know is that black people are not the only ones that have that that go. Black people are not the only ones that have it hard. Are not like black Americans think that uh, uh, not all black Americans but the ones that's always crying about uh slavery and all this stuff and we were slaves you know what they did to us yes i know what they did to them it was horrible <laughs> it was horrible yeah. okay <laughs> it's like I know what they did to them. Oh yeah. You know, but they didn't do that to, to you. us. Yeah. But they say, well, 
but over time, you know, we had segregation, we had this and that, and they still made life hard for for um, for uh, black people. Listen, we all know there was segregation. We know there were race. Like we all know, people were getting hung. Blacks were being slaughtered, and, like just being slaughtered and killed for literally for for no reason back in the day. You know, um, and and I, but. A lot of these people complain, and they have not been through any any of that at all. Mm-hmm. Like, it's okay to remember what happened, but do not live in the past. Yeah. Re- you can you can remember the past, but don't live in the past. Yeah. Like, why are you living in the past? And then you living in the past you've never been in. Yeah. That's the crazy part. Yeah. That's the crazy part, you know? Like, I don't hear Jews crying all the time about the holocaust you know oh, wow. they like jews don't do that yeah they're not all like they don't they don't do that so like yeah they need to stop with all of this you know emotional bull crap and just live your life take care of your business and you know do what you gotta do you know have you yeah. read candace's book blackout no i have not read her it's book. really good um, but she talks about like how no, she might hear this. Yes, I read that book. <laughs> that book was amazing. Oh my amazing. goodness! If she hears this, I'll, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, that will make my life. Um, but she talks about like, like nobody's physically on the plantations anymore, but mm. some people are mentally on the plantations. mentally on the plant. Yep. Yeah, mentally on the plantation, they are. And I just don't understand how so many people are so stuck, are so stuck in the past. Mm-hmm. Like and, and like I said, a past they never been in. Yeah, a past that they never they never lived this past. This is not your past. But they're being convinced that. But they, they're, they're being there. convinced. Yeah, you're not there. You are, and some and some of them do say we we, we slaves. No, you are not a slave. Yeah. You are not a slave. Your boss can't even get you to come into work. <laughs> How the <laughs> hell are you a slave? I think we have. Um, you called out sick today. <laughs> Slaves couldn't call out sick. We don't. We don't like live in. We don't live in reality. <laughs> he said slaves can't call out sick. The hell? Come on, yeah. man. We aren't living in reality. No, we're not. A yeah. lot, no, I mean, they're well, not. Yeah. They're not living in reality at all. Yeah. They're not living in reality. But you know what? It's it's all it's because some people, you know, like when when someone's life is not going the way that they want it to go, then they start finding all of these excuses. I mean, people, I mean, going to the extreme. Did you know like you know what George Washington did to us? You know what he did to me? George Washington didn't do nothing <laughs> to you. He didn't. What are you talking about? You didn't know. You knew George Washington? <laughs> no, seriously. Sir, you knew George Washington. <laughs> you knew George. That's cool. Shit. You know? <laughs> you know, now, listen, I think the founding fathers, like, you know, listen, they had their flaws. Um, but I think they did a hell of a job with the with the Constitution, you know. Mm-hmm. And I used to say, well, I wish I can go back in the time and shake their hand. But I think, well, that probably wouldn't be possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Move, you peasant. <laughs> 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 Whose Negro is this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm your Negro. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> my Dang. face is hurting. Like, Bro, I can't, I can't keep doing this. <laughs> I can't, even, like, I can't even smile no more. You got me laughing over here. I'm gonna get canceled just for laughing. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> just for laughing. God, <laughs> leave. <laughs> Oh, my God. that's funny. So uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's let's switch it back over to these pancakes. Do you plan on having these in the store anytime soon? Yes, yeah, so I do plan on having it in, in the stores, and you know, uh, getting it in the stores is a lot of work, you know. Mm-hmm. So, but it will eventually happen. Yeah, just just but keep you have going. To find somebody that's willing to like back you up in the things that you say up. <laughs> yeah, true. If the, yeah. you you know, like if they do look into it, you know, if they you know, yeah. But I think Publix would be a great store mm. Publix cool. maybe some Randall's Publix maybe Randall's where he got maybe started Randall's. that would be yeah. cool but Publix for sure they are super conservative oh I didn't know that mm-hmm. yep super conservatives yep but what's Publix the grocery Publix store? yeah it's a grocery mm-hmm. store like they have them in Florida and it's kind of like right? it's kind of like Whole Foods a little bit right a little yeah bit. yeah it's kind of like yeah. Whole Foods okay and they have them like I, I guess like the southeast part of the united states i don't know I, but i know they're in florida for sure because i went to one when i was in florida last week yeah. yeah well if they don't take my if they don't take my pancake mix then i'll just play the game that everybody else play oh they're racist <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> they don't like black people 
That's a good way to get Terrence, it. Terrence, stop. You you know it's because your violet dick. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so so your uh, your mom had nine kids. Do you talk to your siblings? Do you know them? Yeah, I know. I know. I know all of them. Okay. Now we don't talk every day. I talk to some of them here and there. You know, talk to the ones that that are not in jail and talk. You know, and I talk. <laughs> you know, we all. You know. We, are they close to you, or like they they in the area, or they live somewhere? No, else? everybody's in Oklahoma. I think one of my little brothers just moved to San Antonio, Texas. Okay, but everybody's in Oklahoma though. Oh, Oklahoma cool. City, everybody's okay. there. Yeah, no, fun. but I, yeah, I love my siblings. It's a lot of us, so I can't keep up with everybody. It's too many people. Okay, you know, yeah, it's a lot of us. You know, and yeah. you know my siblings. You know, you know siblings. You know we siblings fight. They get along. You know. They, you know, they talk crap and then they say, I love you, you know, so, you know. What What is your biggest platform right now? Like, what platform do you use the most? Twitter? Uh, fa- I, I use all of them. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Okay. Facebook, I have about <laughs> 3.4 million followers. Dang. Yeah. I didn't uh, even know that. That's crazy. Uh, uh, Twitter, I have 1.2 million. And um, Instagram, I have about uh, 700 something thousand. Okay. Yeah. Dang. So, I, I use all of those, yeah. So, the and Instagram's YouTube. coming up. Yeah, the Instagram's coming up. coming up. Yes, it's it is slower than than the <coughs> other two, but it's coming up though. Yeah, mm-hmm. nice. So when you made that video um, on Facebook, did you just like start getting spammed with friend requests? Oh yeah, I was accepting everybody's friend requests. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's so crazy. Until it maxed out, but then, but then I created a Facebook business page. You oh, know, okay. yeah, a fan page. Okay. So that's like the like page. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, so the, the so I started out on just a normal page, okay. but now I have a like page, which, which makes it easier for people to follow. Okay, and do you upload on those pretty... Because uh, I didn't have that when I went viral, because if I did, I would have had probably way more than what I have now. Yeah, you upload videos on Facebook still, like pretty mm-hmm. consistently? Yeah, here and there, yeah, I do. You ever uh, thought about starting like a YouTube channel, or do you have one? I got, a YouTube. I got about 200,000 on there. Oh, nice, okay, mm-hmm. cool, cool. Yeah. Um, nice. what, what, what would be your advice to anybody that I know you say you're not a politician or anything, but anybody that wants to get into like politics or um, something that similar to what you do? Run away. <laughs> <laughs> do not get into politics. <laughs> I mean, do you get like death threats on a regular basis? Death threats? Oh, all the time. People are always threatening me. <laughs> I remember one guy, he started to go fund me so he can afford to fly me out to Dallas so he can whip my ass. <laughs> no way. Yes. He's going to put him in a nice hotel, though. <laughs> they were, were going to beat his ass. I said, my God. So the first death threat that you got, was did it like uh, scare you? or? Not as, no, it was just like, wow, people are so mad, you know? Yeah. So mad. And people are telling me, you should be concerned. These people are crazy. You know, so, but yeah, people threaten me all the time, all the time. They're going to do this. They're going to do that, you know, and, and uh, I'm like, well, I go to the pages like, well, I don't think you can make it to me, buddy. <laughs> 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 and oh, uh, with, with the gas prices now, uh, oh, none, yeah, definitely none it of these threats are real. Not yeah. in no car. They can't that. afford the gas to get to me. So what do you think about the gas? Prices I'm good. Right. right. That's thank you, Joe. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right. But what would your response be? So, like, I get into, like, a lot of fun political discussions with my family members. Mm -hmm. um, And they're like, oh, but Putin, 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 Putin. This is Putin's fault. This is Putin's fault. Listen, I let Pootie, whatever his name is. Pootie Putin. (laughs) Poo poo. uh. (laughs) Putin did it. Listen. Uh, it's not Putin. Listen, Putin's fault. Listen, what Putin doing over there is what Putin is doing over there. That ain't got nothing to do. That ain't got nothing to do with us, okay? Nothing to do with us. We got, we got, it's oil everywhere. Texas, Alaska, they can drill. We need to drill, drill, mm-hmm. drill. They don't want to drill. Climate change, the, the, the sun going to get hot. I don't, it's all, it don't, we, people in Texas don't care. It's been hot here. Mm-hmm. It You're can't not going get... to eat Bill Gates fake meat? Yeah, no, I'm not eating, I'm not eating fake meat. No, <laughs> no. Wait, fake meat? Yes. What's that? What, what you talking Bill about? Gates. He wants us to all eat fake meat because cattle don't like like fake meat like fake meat how like vegetarian yes meat? oh, oh no, no 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 because there's like i would say because i would eat it? some clone like chicken a- i don't care I eat some clone. <laughs> that's mcdonald's clone, yeah so. clone hey, chicken is good Ooh. i ain't even gonna lie to you man hey i love my meat uh, hey pause hey but uh, <laughs> i had this vegan i had this vegan meat 
it was it was so similar. I couldn't even tell the difference. Yeah, I was like, this got to be real meat. I don't know. Yeah. I could tell. It the difference was so good. Reason. Yeah, like, it was just like it was like a hamburger uh, patty, and I ate it. I was like, mm-hmm. I can't tell the difference. Yeah, yeah. but apparently, lie. like cows contribute to climate something with the climate i don't care i don't know i don't, I care, don't care me i don't care i'd rather have a great cheeseburger and the sun burn me alive <laughs> i don't care at least but y'all know you know oh we're gonna miss Terry. but hey. he sure did love his food <laughs> hey. it's so sad he got burned up in climate change <laughs> but but we do know he died happy he with died full and happy full, hey. Yeah, that stuff don't phase me. I watched that documentary about how they make uh, uh, fast food and all that stuff. And what is it? <laughs> they were, you know, I yeah. forgot what it's called. Something I seen like it Big too. Mac. There's like Big Mac is in the name or something. Yeah, or size uh, meat. They, people are all, I don't p- people are I'm eating meat. Size meat. meat. Yeah, size me up size, or something. Yeah, they were. Yeah, I don't they know. were showing all of this. It was a great documentary. I paused it and ordered me some McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I said this is good. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, that's what they did. So you love, you, you watch all them chickens die. That's then you what they that's what they did to make this taste like that. Dang, that's that's messed up. That's cool though. That's cool though. Yeah, none of none of that stuff don't phase yeah, me. I used to I used to drink out the water hose when I was a kid. Yeah, so. people be like, like, have you seen a burger sitting out for like they they people uh, did, did you, like did you see like they had left a, che- a McDonald's burger out for like a month and it looked just the same. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what you thought, but I uh, mean, <laughs> what that got to do with me? For real. Because, oh, like the Wendy's uh, nugget that was in the yeah, shape of a chicken head? Yeah, because uh, I had the number two. It's not in me anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> they tried to sell you on that, I mean, man. you acting like the burger is sitting inside of my stomach the way it's like that look on the picture. Yeah. It's not, you know? It's been gone. I had diarrhea. That damn thing <laughs> is gone. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, did you know why you had it? Yeah, I saw the documentary. <laughs> I don't care. I know the side effects. I don't care. The food is good. You yeah, know? you got to have you some good old McDonald's every once in a while. Oh, they frogs be smacking, but you got to eat them quick, though. Eat <laughs> yeah. them quick. Oh, you yeah, gotta, they get so, they get hey, so don't let them get soggy. Don't let them get cold. Oh, see, they caught on at McDonald's because, you know, back in the day, you know, people used to trick them so they can have fresh fries, no salt. Oh, <laughs> they yeah. got smart. They stopped putting salt on them. <laughs> you suckers. No, no now you got to tell them uh, uh, crispy. Yeah, crispy, crispy or fries? something. Yeah. yeah. That's what that you got to tell them now? Yeah. yeah. You get fresh fries. Because now they caught on. They don't put salt on anymore, you know? And That's it, ridiculous. And see, it used to be, and then also used to say, hey, I just want a plain uh, double cheeseburger, you know? And then that means it's going to be hot. Mm. It's going to be fresh. Because they was making them and putting all the pickles and the lettuce and tomatoes on there. Oh, and, and just don't, like yeah, leaving yeah. them on the uh-huh. side or whatever. Exactly. But now they got smart. They just make plain cheeseburgers now. Yeah. And they have them already ready. You can't say like no mustard. They just gonna wipe it off. They <laughs> 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 gonna wipe it off. Is it? <laughs> what, what's your uh, what's your go to fast food place? Go to fast food place. I try not to eat too much fast food. I mean, I bet I, I, I cousin teeth pancakes is so good. I eat these pancakes all the time. But uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I do love McDonald's. I love I love McDonald's. I love those fries. I love the double quarter pounder. Oh my god, I love it. I love Popeyes chicken. Popeyes mm. chicken oh, yeah, is Popeye. good. Man, I get that spicy uh, the spicy, spicy chicken spi- sandwich. Yeah. No, Ooh, Popeyes is I get the raisin spicy. canes. Oh. Raisin canes. Can't. Have you had Lanes? Huh? Lanes? Oh, it's you like gotta canes, have Lanes. It's, it's no, I haven't had that. But yeah, Raisin Canes is one. Of, yeah, that's I love Raisin Canes. Mm. I asked for let me get let me get the four piece and let me and let me and I want no toast, extra fries mm. and let me get an extra cane sauce, please, and a Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that's the whole order right there. I hate when people go to Raisin Canes and be taking all day to order. Oh yeah, yeah. it's only. Four things on the menu. It's the same thing. Yeah, just one tender, two tender, three tender, or four tenders. What are you like? Make up your mind. Do you want one? Like, come on. Same thing with In and Out too. You go to In and Out, they got like two choices on there. Yeah. Like, like what's, what's taking you so long? Hold on, give me a second. We thinking right now. <laughs> thinking about what? How many sauces you want? <laughs> what you thinking about? 
I know before I go to Raising Cane's how many tenders I want. Yeah. You didn't think about that in the car? <laughs> you know? Because like, all you got to think about is a number. How, yeah, how many you want. Exactly. Yeah. So you got to think, and you know you don't want one. Yeah. You know you don't want one. You know your yes. hungry butt don't want one. So that's eliminated already. Yeah. Now I always go with the, with the uh, in my mind, I always say I'm getting three, but I always get like four or six. Mm. You know, but I always in my mind I'm getting three. So you you know like, but but you should know what you want. Though. Do Come you get on. the coleslaw? The coleslaw? No, I don't get the coleslaw. Yeah, I trade that out with extra sauce. Hey, you gotta oh, start okay. start supporting us Hispanics and go to Taco Bell sometimes, man. Oh, Taco Bell is good too, <laughs> but ta- ain't no Mexicans up there cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't 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 Do you uh, know relate what? Taco Bell to Hispanics. That is you, a fake, no. fake Mexican place. <laughs> no, look, listen, uh, uh, like if you go to what I, when I was in Austin, uh, you know, I, I would go to Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. I love the Nacho Bell Grande. <laughs> Uh, and Taco Bell has taught me how to speak Spanish. Like, <laughs> I did not know Spanish until I started going to Taco Bell. You know, like, I know some good Spanish. Yeah. Just from reading the menu. You know, I know Grande. Grande. Chalupa. Queso. Salsa. Queso. Salsa. El Pollo Rojo. El Pollo Rojo. El Pollo Rojo. <laughs> no, nah, but, um, yeah. uh, no, but in Austin, though, like, you know, we, we say it's Spanish, but it's really... Like a lot of these fast food places, they they hire they hire the Mexicans from Mexico. They don't hire the Hispanics from America. Mm-hmm. They don't know. Uh, uh-uh. the Hispanics are Mexicans, you know. And but they never work at Taco Bell. They always at Burger King. Don't understand <laughs> shit. <laughs> why? Why? And all they got all these white folks. It's a bunch of white folks at Taco Bell. Seriously, <laughs> bunch of white folks. Bunch of white folks up there. You know, they got all the black folks at KFC and 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 at uh, Popeyes. But you go to Taco Bell, it's gonna be like it's it's gonna be some white folks, some country white folks up there, you know. <laughs> hey, darling, what you want, darling? <laughs> darling, help. Yeah. Uh, now you, I would, cause I would go to Burger King and it's these Mexicans up there. Um, they, they don't even speak English. They like, huh? Number five, <laughs> five. <laughs> Five? Five, yeah. You can Cinco? use your Spanish you learned from Taco Bell. Though. Yeah. <laughs> Grande. Yeah. Uno, dos, tres, uno, cuatro, dos, tres. cinco. See, I get lost after that. Like, after, 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 after Trace, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Cato. He said cato. Seis. That's a cat. Seis, you know. Mm. No. That's funny, man. <laughs> um, have you ever lived in? Oh, you said you lived in Austin, right? Yeah, I lived in Austin. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What do you think about Austin compared Austin, to? Austin, it's a lot of. I mean, listen, it's a lot of Hispanics in Austin. <clears throat> there know? is a lot of Hispanics. Yeah, I mean, half all my friends there are Hispanic. I mean, I couldn't even make black friends. I didn't even see no black people up there. <laughs> is, uh, is Austin, <laughs> is Austin a Hispanics and whites? To, to me, it gives, it gives more of the uh, California vibe. Yeah. yeah, it is a California. Yes, it's, it's a great city. Is you know. Uh, it's, it's it's a big tech city. Mm-hmm. It's a big music city. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a it's an outdoor place. You know, people like to ride bikes and go on Whoa, trails everything. and stuff like yeah, that. Everyone's really fit in Austin. Yeah, yeah everybody yeah. is really fit in Austin. That's mm-hmm. probably why uh, Biden wanted to ride a bike. He probably visited Austin mm-hmm. and thought. Yeah, cool yeah. You know, he wants to be cool and be in shape, but someone, but they they wrong for letting him get on that bike. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're wrong for letting him be president. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people say that. That's, I yeah. I feel bad for him. Yeah, was I, the election rigged? Yes, it was rigged. It was stolen. <laughs> Call me a conspiracy I theorist. Mules. Tell me, go ahead and say, get over it. It's over. <laughs> He's lying. Blah, blah, blah. I don't give a damn. It was stolen. Ain't no way in the hell uh, uh, this Joe Biden. He's supposed to be. They say he is the most popular president in U.S. history. Bullshit. Mm, cool. There is no yeah, 81 way. 81 million votes. 81. The most votes. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> if, if, if other countries can rig. If other countries can rig elections it can happen over here too mm-hmm. it can happen it can i'm happen. sure it's been happening come on I, i'm sure it, it happened probably, before this election we just like didn't realize that yeah that was a thing joe biden's comeback was like bigger than that was like the biggest comeback ever Talking like, about we gonna build back better no don't no stop it ain't broke <laughs> don't build how, nothing joe how did that happen i don't understand i still don't understand to this well, day well around like two or three i haven't now. met anybody who voted for him either <laughs> <laughs> I met people who said he should be president, but they didn't vote for him. I met people that oh, have voted point. for him and then said they regret it. Like I've met those people. They I'm should like, regret well, it. Well, I don't know. Like as a Hispanic, though, I like feel like people. Like I've talked to coworkers, which I think is so racist. Like they just assume I'm Democrat because I'm Hispanic. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah, which is wild. I, I've had so that let too. me tell you. So the people who don't know who I am, 
You know, like I was at, where was I at once? I was, I think I was like at the airport and this lady was like, oh my, she, you know, I was sitting next to her. She was like, oh, stuff is so crazy right now. This is when Trump was in office. She said, don't you wish Obama was back in office? <laughs> Isn't that racist? You racist muzzle. <laughs> Assume that I'm an Obama supporter because I'm black. Come on now. Yeah. Come on now. You like uh, is Obama your boy or what? My boy. I don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> My damn boy. I don't know that man. What are you? What are, what are your thoughts on Obama? Listen, Obama is a great talker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He oh yeah, he tongue. is. He He's is. a great talker. He talks really great. He talks really great. His speech is way better than mine. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> do, you think, do you think Trump? Do you, listen, people voted for Obama because he was black. Okay, let's let's get this yeah, straight. Okay, 100%. you know, and and no one, like no one, can say I haven't met anyone who's able to tell me something historic that Obama did. The only thing they can say is him winning was historic Mm -hmm. and it was he's the first black president you know be the first black president Um, obamacare wasn't historic no (laughs) i don't know nothing about it the obama phone that was not historic (laughs) (laughs) they stay they still selling that crap yeah that was not historic listen listen obama obama is a slick talker you know he is a slick talker and I mean, he had he even had Republicans and conservatives voting for him whenever he first uh, ran, you know, and people really thought there was going to be like this big change. And it wasn't that big of a change at all. And a lot of people only voted for him because he was black and not all, not only that, because he, you know, be, because he was likable you know yeah because then listen because they didn't like kamala she black and ain't nobody care about kamala <laughs> but but obama had that personality he had the it factor and that's why i hope they don't chop this up and say obama had the it factor terrence is an obama <laughs> fan know the hell i'm not play, play, the whole, play the whole clip play the whole clip play the whole clip <laughs> play the whole clip <laughs> no but um no but to be honest with you, though, listen, uh, what all, I don't care about all this, oh, it was peaceful when Obama was in office. Like, what do you mean peaceful? Because people, I mean, I, I don't remember, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think he made anything better, you know? Mm. I'm talking like, you know, listen, as a person, he's probably a cool person. I don't, he's probably a cool person. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not speaking on who he is, you know, outside of politics because I don't know, but I know as a president, as a politician, uh, he didn't really do anything. He didn't. What did he do? Yeah. Don't say gay marriage. What did he do? <laughs> don't don't say gay marriage. What else did he do? I feel like. And I... what did he do for black people? Because oh, he was oh he was talking. When when o- Obama had all my cousins, my aunties, my uncles, he had all them thinking they were about to be rich and that <laughs> all their problems were about to go away. Oh, my God, we finally get this black president. Oh, my God. Like, we black people finna take over. We finna be doing this. We finna have this. And we gonna have more and more and more because he said he gonna do this and do that. No. Because what they don't understand is, you know, this he's still a politician you know yeah. he's still a politician but for all the things that he promised black people he promised black people so much and he did not do he did not live up to those promises those promises he did not keep his he did not keep his promise mm-hmm. what did he do for for the black community and why is it this why is juneteenth now people say well obama did well okay so he cared about all these black people so, so okay listen black folks Y'all so, and first of all, I never knew about Juneteenth until I moved to Texas. I never, I've never heard of it before I moved to Texas. Mm. When I moved to Texas, then that's when I heard of it. Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. People were like, you gonna celebrate Juneteenth? What's, what's that? What's that? Yeah. No, seriously, I was like, what is that? I never celebrated it because I never knew what it was. I'm like, what, what are y'all celebrating? He's like, what? I didn't get it. Yeah. But people say, oh, it's finally time, about time that uh, Juneteenth is now a holiday. You know, now black people get to celebrate real freedom and all this. Okay, why didn't Obama do that? Oh, oh, Joe Biden did not need 
approval from any of these congresswomen or men. He just did it. He just made it a federal holiday. Nobody voted on it. There was no votes needed. He just did it. Why didn't Why didn't Obama do that? And then they say, well, did y'all know that uh, that it's not like it's not against the law to like lynch somebody? Da da da. It's actually not in any written like written like written in like any law. Why didn't Obama do it then? Yeah. Why, 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 why didn't he do all these problems y'all saying that, that, that Obama can fix? I mean, all these problems that y'all said that Trump can fix, why didn't, why didn't Obama do that when he was the president? Uh, black people, you say we have all these issues and this needs to be done. We need this holiday. We need that holiday. We need this mandate. This, we need this grant. We need this money, that money. Why didn't he do it? Mm-hmm. Why didn't he do it? Yeah. You know, and that's why Trump said to the black community when he was, uh, when, uh, whenever he was first running in 2016, he was like, vote for me. What the hell do you have to lose? People are like, oh, my yeah. God, that's so racist. Hold on, how's that racist when so many people are saying black people don't have anything? Saying, oh, black, black people don't have what white people have, and black people don't have this, and we don't have this access, this privilege, or that privilege. Well, when he said, vote for me, what the hell did you have to lose? Well, if you, like, what do you have to lose then? Because you say nothing, like, none of these politicians are doing anything for the black community, you mm-hmm. know? So what do you have to lose? Yeah. And he done a lot of, he, and he did a lot of stuff for the black community. You know, un- black unemployment was at an all-time low. It was at an historic low, historic low. People say, well, that was Obama. He took Obama's credit. Well, you know, and, and Obama took credit for that, you know. He took credit for a whole bunch of stuff. And then these HBCUs were needing so much money. Uh, they, would come, they would come knocking on the door all, all, all the time. Hey, president, give us money. Give us money. Every year they would have to ask for money. Well, President Trump stopped that. He said, y'all don't have to keep coming. And that's historical black colleges. Historical black colleges. Yeah. yeah, he said, y'all don't have to keep knocking. We're going we gonna to give you this money. We're going to give you a boatload of money. Mm-hmm. A boatload of money. Gave them more money than any president has ever given them. You know, and why would somebody, and, and listen, why? Well, he didn't have to do that, you know, because nobody was talking about that, you know, and nobody talked about it anyway. Actually, every. Actually, all the things like that he did do, nobody even talked about it at all in the media because they were so focused on his tweets. You can, the, if you ask somebody, like, what was it that Trump did or something bad, like, anytime they talk about Trump, they don't talk about, like, what he didn't do as a president. They just talk about what he said. Well, do you know what he tweeted? Did, did you know he said this? Like, but they never, but they can never say he didn't do anything because yeah. he was making shit happen. Yeah. He was making shit happen. Yeah. I mean, black folks were buying Cadillacs, eating at Popeyes, <laughs> having a good time. Now we got a chicken shortage. And <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Well, people, but you know, they're, pe- those, they're can- still blaming Trump for all this. Yeah, they are. I yeah, still they- have like, I still see people like talking. Well, it's like because of Trump that gas prices are high. It's yeah. because of Trump that this or that. It's because we got them damn stimulus checks. That's why. Right. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, for real. No, because they keep printing money. And they mm-hmm. keep printing money, printing money. You know, we are in, like, in, in, inflation is high. And we are, and listen, people don't even know it, but we are in a recession right now. People don't even know it. Well, we that's because the media recession. would never say that. No, because the midterms are close. They, mm-hmm. they will announce that after the, after the midterms. Mm-hmm. It's too early to say it. Do you, so do you think President Trump is going to run? I don't know. I have no clue. He might, though. I don't know. Get him on the FaceTime and we'll see. <laughs> 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 what, <laughs> what do you think about Ron DeSantis? Uh, he's, he, he's, he's a great guy. Yeah. I, I, I think he could be president one day, too. And he's young, mm-hmm. which I love. Like yeah. he's, he's really young. Um, a lot of people are talking about him being vice president with President Trump like, yeah. on the ticket. Yeah, I will. I would like. I would rather see that than to see them two run against each other. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, before we close out, what what is a uh, something that you would want to leave with the people, the audience? Uh, any words? Any advice? You know, I I really want people to just like. I would love for people just to 
just to chill okay mm. like quit getting so emotional and just have some hot fluffy cousin tees pancakes yes. <laughs> just take a break from politics and all the drama and just eat some pancakes and then my pancakes taste like freedom have you ever, do you know what freedom tastes like <laughs> it tastes so good i mean it's so good it's better than barbecue Ooh, <laughs> it's yes. really good and i just you know i really want people to do that <laughs> you know? that's, what, that's what's up so uh man we appreciate you coming on uh, thank you, it thank was an you. honor thank you for doing this um thank you for the cousin teas you know thank we, we appreciate that can't wait to try that and uh we should have brought a, a, a stove top you could have just whipped this up <laughs> whipped right, right, some right, yeah, right, right yeah right <laughs> yeah but yeah, show so, us how it's done. Mm -hmm. uh, man, y'all go check out Terrence. He's a great person. Um, definitely will keep you entertained. That's for sure. Um, and we appreciate y'all watching. We love y'all. And uh, we're out. Thank, Thank you, you. Innocent Thank Ambition. You. Peace.